Welcome back to Metro Exodus. In the last episode, we came here to the Air Traffic Control Center, and this whole, like, military base that's all around it, and cleared out all the monsters and found that there's a nice little place to live up here, actually. Which is the exciting thing that I'm going to do right now. Let's take a sip of water to heal up. So, next place I want to go, I guess just to all the question marks around here. Oh god, don't burn. Don't burn yourself. Yeah, so I know that around that crane area and that ship that's next to the crane, I know you can't really see exactly what I'm pointing at, but a couple question marks kind of in the vague direction that I'm pointing at. I think there's a lot of people there. Um, I think Anna said that the prisoners are being held in the ship. It's like where they were being stored, for lack of a better word. God, that's a gross term to use for people, huh? But that's how they're treating them. And I think there's like a scout in the tower, possibly. Or at least it would be a good place for me to scout from. I'm not quite sure which. So I guess I'll just head over there. But I guess I'll go along the train track, because there's a question mark back there on the train track. Which I swear I must have gone by that question mark, but I guess I didn't clear it out somehow. So, I'll go back there and just kind of follow the line of question marks, starting from the one that I'm pointing at. Yeah, we got kind of like a sideways U-shaped line of question marks. Let's follow them. I want to check one thing real quick. I recently got an upgrade in the last episode. Mm, this one, the NVD amplifier, combines two technologies, heat vision and visible light amplification. Like, I thought it would make people, or, well, I haven't seen any people with it, but I've seen demons nearby and stuff. I thought it would make them glow as if it was heat vision, but maybe it just makes the night vision easier to see stuff? Like, a brighter image, a clearer image, possibly? Just wanted to make sure it was equipped and read the description again, but I guess it should be working. Let's zip line down. What do you bet I can get down quick and dirty? See? Damn, I'm good at jumping. Damn, I'm good at throwing knives. Not really, most of the time I really suck at throwing knives, actually. I see my van in the distance. Now I see nothing. Question mark is that way. Oh, wow. I don't know if I've ever seen them feeding before. Ugh. Gonna use my laser sight to aim. Nice. Impressive. Oh, I've only got two shots of this thing. Yeah, missed the head. Let me see if I can get my knives back. Ugh, I got two. That's enough to maybe kill one person. I mean, monster. They're not people anymore. Ooh. Ah. 
Yeah, you can't see your freaking knife handles at all when you have your night vision on. Should be super easy to see in the dark. Should be one more. Okay, I don't know where the hell it went. Could it be on a body that I didn't loot? Ah, whatever. Maybe I never even had three. Maybe I had two the whole time. Anyway, the question mark still isn't done. Unless looting that body did it. It didn't. Oh, there we go. Now it just triggered it. Oh, right, this is back where a bunch of thugs tried to shoot me. And there's my trusty van. I love this rust bucket. Next crush mark is right in front of me. Gotta watch out that I don't get swarmed by these things. I think they might mostly be dead, though. Or something. That's the only one I see on the surface. I hear noises, though. Oh, right, they sleep. They're probably sleeping in this field somewhere, aren't they? I think those are sleeping noises. We got a group of zombie things coming this way. Creepy fuckers. Oh, yeah, I think it's waking them up, actually. Shh. Shh. Are they attacking me or them? I can't. Tell. Fuck. I think this might be a good time for this. That didn't do as much as I thought it would. Oh, actually, that did really well. I don't know why this one survived. Even the ones further away from the blast died before this one did. Oh, <laughs> got him right in the leg. Oh, this is the strong one, isn't it? It seems bigger than the rest. I think I just got a large capacity magazine. For this thing? Huh. Well, I got an attachment, but... Yeah, what? Shouldn't it mark that I got something new? This is definitely new. Extended magazine. Um, slight decrease to stability. Do I really need 45 rounds, though? Not really... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick with the normal magazine. Hmm, I should make some more steel balls, actually, for the air, air gun. And a medkit. And some more knives. 
get back up to max knives, actually. Extraordinary. Do they all just come back? Charging. Damn it, it's hitting a dead body. All right, I need all my knives back. I just made them. Yes. I think the key to getting your knives back is just make sure you don't aim too high so they don't go flying all over the place and just kind of like. Try to focus it on one general area, rather than like, you know, shoot a knife over there, a knife over there, because then it's really hard to search from. But like that, if you just kind of shoot them all at this hill, they're pretty easy to find. There's that one done. Okay, now we're moving into where people might be. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> well, I don't think there's anybody here in this mess. But maybe at the tower over there, the, the crane, I think. Oh, I see you. I got this out, but I'm not actually going to use it. Might as well use a knife, huh? Extraordinary. Somebody super glued it to the wall. Thank God I hit that one in the head. I think that was my last knife. Wait, I'm missing a knife. Where did it go? That's the last time I am over that. Okay. <laughs> wow, great aim. Oh, okay. Out of that, too. Trying to go for headshots to save ammo. I hear screaming in the distance. But I think we might be okay. Yeah, it's them screaming. I don't think they'll come over here though. I think they stay in the general vicinity of their nest. Knife collection time. 
What the heck is that doing there? That's so weirdly out of place. Usually it's on a table in some place. It's just on the ground. all the knives back. Nice. I think there was a time that I thought that knives might have a chance to break. Like maybe you sometimes lose them just from use. I don't think so. This place looks in the early morning, before the sun's really risen. It's a bit bright, but there's no direct sunlight. Have I mentioned this game's really pretty? <laughs> Maybe about 20 times? the whole building done. I wonder what this thing used to be. I think a huge silo. <laughs> See if we can find some way to get to the top. I don't think there is a top, actually. Thank God. Ooh. Sometimes you gotta jump over, like I wanna get on a thing, and sometimes they instead go over a thing and you just fall. Alright, I see you there. I've noticed that where the laser points and where the knife goes is not exactly the same, actually. Which is quite strange. Like, look where it's pointing. It's pointing, like, right to the center of that little blown-out spot in the rocks. Like, so if I aim... Um... Hmm, I have a hunch on how this works, actually. If I'm aiming down the sights, this is the center. And then I'm gonna just press C to throw a knife. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's try it closer. <laughs> Aim down. There we go. Yeah, like, it goes almost... It's very, very accurate, actually. It goes consistently slightly to the right of where I'm aiming. Keeping in mind the knife does have a little bit of a trajectory. It will, like, fall with distance. It takes quite a bit of distance for it to fall, though. Um... But if I don't aim down the sights and aim to the center, I guess it just waves around is maybe the issue. It does move around quite a bit. Yeah, like there, it was quite a bit off. But it seems like it generally goes more to the right of the laser. No, never mind. It just wavers a lot when you're, like, hip-firing. Just from natural movement, you can see it kind of moves around like a central point, roughly, kind of randomly. 
anyway, the whole lesson and all that is don't rely on the laser to get really good accuracy from a far range. You might want to do something more like this. Much better. I don't know if that was even a thing that was going to attack me. I think it was. It didn't make a noise, though. Sound. What is going on? I hear battle music? Have they spotted me? Oh, can you get him, Anna? Right, Anna has a sniper rifle, doesn't she? I, th I think? And Anna is right over there. See the green laser. You got this, Anna. Shit. Oh. I think they just shot at me. Yes, yes. Okay, they spotted me. Damn. It must have been the sniper in the tower that spotted me. Alright then. Uh, well, I want to check this place out, but we'll have to come back to this later. We got something more pressing. No, don't do that. Put your hand down. They probably won't be able to hit me if I'm sprinting? I hope. Thanks for trying, Anna. Shoot that damn searchlight out. Oh my god. Oh, I feel felt that. Okay. Yeah, that sniper is good. And I was right. I, I'm just gonna run all the way then. I'm gonna run straight to the tower. Getting close so that the sniper can hit me. Serpentine? Rest for a second. Uh, do I have any shotgun ammo? I don't think I do. Two shots. Eh. Let's not go with that. <laughs> Fuck. I think my weapon jammed. It did. Two shots. Yep, see ya. It's so cool that you can actually see them over there. They're not like just a voice, like they really are they really are doing the things they say they are. Oh that was exciting. What are they using? The uh proper sniper? Yes, that's the proper sniper thing. That thing, I forgot what it's called. No wonder they were so damn accurate and powerful. Thing has a hell of a kick. And yeah, my gun needs to be cleaned really badly.
I'm surprised I didn't die running in like that. Holy shit. Hey, what's that sound? Is there a car? Sounds like something driving. Who is that? Who's in that rust bucket? The hell? I didn't know there's another drivable car here. I mean, of course there would be other cars, but still. <laughs> Hadn't seen one until now. Is that just the thugs? I guess? I've never seen them actually driving their cars, just have them parked. Oh wow, I can actually see the thugs from here. Where did the car go? I see they're giving me all these snipers, so if I wanted to just snipe from here, I could just grab one of these and modify it and clean them and whatever at the bench. I swear one of the things I just looted was like a two liter bottle of coke. of the ruins outpost that's the initial person that i that i chased over there during the dust storm and all that stuff and found him at the top and knocked him out instead of killing him and stole their car that's who saul is i totally forgot stuff in one hangar. That must have been the one hangar that was in relatively good condition uh, where I walked into a bunch of bodies and it was like a lair of those zombie things. Because there was tons of stuff in there. Right, so the sniper at the viaduct, that would be Anna. I noticed that they referred to Anna as a he. I'm, I'm guessing they can't even conceptualize the idea of a woman holding a weapon. How did that work out for you, buddy? Who just honked that horn? Oh, they're coming for me. Hmm, actually, you know what? I've got a bit of time. Let's make some ammo. Maybe clean some stuff? Oh, I have new stuff? What do I have? 6x scope! Holy shit, that thing looks cool. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's not actually that dirty. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I guess I'll clean it. This thing... Uh, I need ammo, not really cleaning so much. Let's make another... Uh, let's make two medkits. Shotgun ammo is the thing I really need. I need one more. Assault rifle will probably be good. A bunch of that. Okay.
Oh, this thing's gonna be so good. I don't know if it's accurate enough for a 6x scope. It probably is. Should I go up even higher? I don't know what's up here, but screw it. Another hookah. Oh, I can't use that one, though. We'll worry about that stuff later. 